Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. I know I said I wasn't going to record another one today, but I just can't help it. We're going to squeeze one more in before I have to go meet the missus. Right, now, uh, let's go kick this guy's face in. Did we actually have a look and see what's in that, um... Come on. See what's in that vending machine behind us? I can't remember if we did. I think it sells ammo. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a little look, shall we? Yeah, it just sells ammo. Uh, that might actually be quite good for now. Now, you can see that we've been playing this game now for uh, a little while. Woohoo! Congratulations! You have completed the stamp rally! Please take the elevator to the second floor. Let's join Yay, the Yay, you've unlocked the elevator. Out. Excellent. Uh, so we've been playing this game for a little while, and we're going to have to fight the first money boss guy in here. Ooh! Oh great, great Elliot, that's fantastic. So this guy is actually really quite strong, and he does a hell of a lot of freaking damage to you if you allow him. So we're just going to shoot him to death with our handgun. He actually takes a crazy amount of bullets. But that's okay, because we have a crazy amount of bullets. But he does drop a serious amount of money. In fact, what might be a good idea? Let's share the wealth. Let's swap over to dogs and get the bowgun out. Yes. There we go. Now, I'm not sure how effective the bowgun is going to be on him. Uh, pretty effective, apparently. Look how much cheddar this guy spawns, man. See, if you could, um, well, I don't know, I was going to say, if you could farm these guys, that would be something, but I don't know. I don't know if it would be financially worth it, because the amount of ammo they take. Yeah, he drops nearly a grand. So, we started the game with, like, 6,000. We're now up to 8,000. Um, and you've seen how long it's taken to collect that up until this point. Um, yeah. And you're going to see how expensive just some of these weapons are. So, let's go. Congratulations, we're now in this magical wonderland. Now, this is a very important area here. Yes, we can get the stun rod, which we can actually get for free later on. Uh, and we can buy some docks in. Uh, I'm not sure why we'd want some docks in, but hey, they've got one left, so let's grab it, I guess. Now, what else have we got here? So, these are the steak plates, and we have sushi plates, and we have pasta plates. These are really, really important. Uh, these are the only items in the game, I believe, that actually increase our health permanently. But look how much they cost. Now, when Elliot gets paid, he gets paid 2,000 um, bucks, I think. So, this steak plate will take Elliot's entire salary for the month. Yeah, I love little things like that in video games. Uh, I am going to obviously buy all of those. And we're going to max out our health because it's kind of required. I mean, you don't... Well, it's not required. You don't have to. You saved my life. You guys are rescuers? How many are saved? Hey. Is Devlin alive? Chill. One question at a time. Okay. First of all, we are not rescuers. I mean, I am. I I'm as lost as you are, and I mm. have no idea how many survived. Do you have the card key to the freezer warehouse? Who are you? He's Dogs Bauer, captain of the SS Deanna. We're... No time for explanation. <laughs> if you want to live, give me the card key. It's in a safe on my desk. This is a key hmm. to the safe. Roland's safe key. Wait here. Uh, okay, well, I guess we've got to go get a key. A uh, key card, I should say. Alright, fair enough. Now. Uh, right, so. There is a secret room here. Uh, it's not really a secret room. But. There's some more vending machines here. Iron fists. 
Ray sword. Yeah, so it's not super important to max out your health. Uh, you, you absolutely can get through the game without it, but it does help. It really does. Because, I mean, Elliot's... Nothing great here. Elliot's health does go all the way up, I believe, to his ammo um, counter, which is crazy. Right, sumo t-shirt. Emergency axe. Uh, we're going to be buying the emergency axe. Because that is a much better weapon. Look at the club, though. 8,000. 720. These weapons are so crazy expensive. Now, the room that I want to show you guys is this one. Only customers with more than 3,000 Kamara dollars may, em dollars may enter. Please stand back as a cash sensor checks your wallet. You're clear. You may now en enter. Yeah, so we have to have three grand before the game will even let us in here. Now, if we do have three grand, we get to go into this super uber armory kind of place. And you can buy every weapon in the game in this room. Apart from one, which you have to unlock. So, there's, there's the ray gun. Look how much that costs. Uh, and it's sold out. I don't know how we get that, apart from completing uh, the game like five times in a row on the same save. Something like that. So, we can get the Gatling gun, which is one of my favorite weapons in the game. Uh, we can get the rail gun, which is really fucking nice. Really powerful. What else have we got here? We've got the Iron Fists, we have the Ray Sword. Now we can get the Ray Sword for free later on, but it's such a cool weapon, I might buy it early, I'm not sure. The Laser Gun is great fun. The Missile Launcher is awesome. Um, so the Missile Launcher there is, that's actually not for dogs, that's Elliot's. Uh, I think that might be... The one for dogs. I know dogs and Elliot get different missile launchers. Elliot's one's a bit smaller but fires faster. Lol. Um, and dogs' one is uh, more powerful but slow. Now, what else we've got here? Ray gun batteries, Gatling gun magazine, box of railgun ammo. So, uh, okay, so it looks like maybe not every weapon in the game is for sale here, but. I guess with this and the weapon shop, you can get every weapon pretty much. Anyway, anyway, let's go back downstairs, shall we? And uh, go find the key. There we go. The music, it gets in your brain. It's like some of you guys that work retail, you must know what it's like at Christmas. It drives you nuts. Listening to that Christmas music over and over and over. Oh, it just makes you want to eat your own face after a while. Oh, it's torture. That has to be some kind of torture. I don't care what anybody says. You shouldn't be subjected to that shit. Oh, Christmas music. Right, also, what I want to do here, we have a new weapon for Elliot. Now, I don't mind Christmas, I don't have anything specifically against it, um, but, oh, that horrible, off-brand, cheesy Christmas music that you hear, oh, it's awful. Right, let's just have a little look at the description. So, the axe, the emergency axe, is a little bit better. It doesn't look that great, but it is better than the metal bat. Emergency axe, normally used only in times of an emergency. Well, this is an emergency, god damn it. It's a little bit slower. I do like the way Elliot pulls these weapons literally out of nowhere. I mean, look at this fucking thing. Mad. Right. There we go. Look at that. Sliced his limbs off straight away. So, you can see, if you want to grind, just how long it takes to actually grind out um, money in this game. It's ridiculous. It takes ages and ages to do it it's yeah it's a bit crazy but unfortunately that's the name of the game I'm gonna grind off camera like I said just because there is a lot of these weapons and stuff I want to try and get all of the weapons I know later on 
there is a secret weapon that you can get in the lab that you can only get during one part of the game and I don't know if I've ever got it before. I honestly don't know. So we're going to be having a look at that anyway. Now there is a time limit uh, to actually get the weapon. Kind of. I mean there's something going on in the game where you need to be a little bit snappy. So stopping to get the weapon is... Well, I don't know. Anyway, let's go into this room. Ooh, hello. Looks like some kind of strange office. But before we have a look in here, let's have a look at other. What do we have? So we've got the Kamara Bank Card info. There we go. So David Walsh. October 8th, 1994. Hmm, I wonder if his pin number is 1994. Yeah, you have to guess these uh, ATMs. Now, Elliot's bank ATM card. ESA salaries are paid on the 25th of each month. Hey, that's Christmas. Uh, where are we? Doxin. Imagine being paid on Christmas Day. Oof. This liquid medicine also sold as pills. Oh, this liquid medicine is also sold as pills. Devlin, the Hello Market store manager, takes this medicine to control his lifelong disease. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I guess cat's out of the bag now. Right, so what we could have done is as soon as we get here, we could have spoken to Devlin and it would have started a countdown. You have 42 minutes to do everything we just did. Or you can do what we did and <laughs> just cheese it. If you know what you're doing. I got your dachshund. Th thanks. You saved my life. Here, here we go. This. So we found the first storage key. Nice. And we got the gun shop key. Nice. And we used the safe key. And we got the freezer key. Nice. Very, very nice. There's also this here. You found the work schedule. I don't know what the work schedule does. Items. What does that do? Schedule. Devlin vouchers? Roll. Oh, right. I guess that's just telling you where everyone is. Devlin was on vouchers. Roll. Okay. Not really a very important bit of information, but sure. Anyway, so all is well. All is good with the world. There should be some weapons left in the first warehouse. Cheers, buddy. I don't know why they've just got some weapons laying around in the warehouse, but hey, we're not going to argue. So, our um, bonus for saving Devlin's ass is the key. Which is pretty nice of the fellow, to be honest. Right. So, grab up all this coinage. All of your monies are belong to me. Never heard anyone called Dev Devlin before. Kind of a weird name. I like it though. Off with your head, Sunny Jim. Bow before me. Nice. Uh, now we're actually gone the wrong way thinking about it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this now. Um. Because realistically, we need to start grinding out money and stuff if we're going to start buying weapons and whatnot. Which we could do, I guess. Um, I could just do this bit. Save the game. Grind out a shit ton of cash. And uh, buy some new toys to play with. I might do that. And then I might... Put a pause in this video and carry on recording it tomorrow. Right, anyway, let's use the first storage key. And what does that give us? That gives us a box of napalm, another box of napalm, another box of napalm, and the shotgun. You found shotgun. And there's some boxes of shotgun shells as well. Now, the shotgun in this game is interesting. It is not your garden variety shotgun um, I mean I like it. it it's it's a unique shotgun I think it's fair to say so here's the shotgun 
we'll equip it for now. We have 72 rounds for it, which ain't too bad, I suppose. Um, this 12 gig, oh yeah, so it's the Masson M7700 ass, <laughs> that looks like ass, ass B, <laughs> AS3B. This 12 gauge automatic shotgun fires three rounds at a time. It holds up to 24 rounds and uses high capacity box magazines. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's not really an automatic shotgun. It just fires three round bursts over and over again. More like a semi-auto burst fire really it's yeah it's interesting it's not not as powerful or as really satisfying as you would hope a shotgun to be but it's not bad you know it, it has its uses and I have no doubt we're gonna be getting some use out of it oh yeah we've got another guy let's go try it out on him as well the reload on it's not too bad, and it does put out a, a kind of okay-ish amount of damage. The only problem with it is it's really not much of a jump over the handgun. It really isn't. Um, but it's, you know, it's alright. It's okay. Uh, I was fairly disappointed with it uh, as a kid. Because I was thinking, you know, something that fired three shotgun shells in rapid succession. I was like, fuck, that's going to be savage. That's going to be blasting people around all over the place. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Right, come on, shit stain. This way. Come on. That's it. Ooh. Off with his bleeding head. There we go. Well, I mean, it put him down in two blasts, so maybe it's maybe it's a little bit better than than I thought. But uh, yeah, as a rule, uh, not the best weapon in the game, far from it. Now, whilst we've got a little bit of time and we've got the last key for this area, we've got the gun shop key. Let's have a little look inside the gun shop, shall we? I think there's tentacles in here. There it is. Really. Yeah, not very effective against those, is it? So, let's just switch back to the handgun for now. Uh, Elliot, let's just go back to the handgun. This will do. Now, oh god. I was like, there's something strange about that tentacle. It's coming out the ceiling. That's pretty strange. Right, so we've got two vending machines there. Now this is the weird thing. Look at all these. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Look at all these like cool guns all over the place. I always find this annoying in games where you got weapons out the ass everywhere. You obviously cannot grab those weapons, and there are no weapons that look like that in the actual game. And one second, guys. I need to choke to death. I am alive. I think. Right. So we got the axe. We could technically get the club. It's, yeah, it's not great. It's powerful, but, ugh. So what else we got here? We got the acid gun. The acid gun's, well, again, it's not really great. It's fun. But it doesn't really do a lot of damage. The plasma gun. Now, this thing's quite a boy. This thing sort of looks like a shotgun. It's a fun weapon. And, of course, the shotgun. Oh, excuse me. Now, the shotgun. <clears throat> one and a half grand's worth, and we got that for free. So, you know, there's that. Now, what's in this one? That's the one we actually examined. What's in this one? Ah, uh, this is just ammo for those weapons. So, yeah. Uh, they're pretty much all the weapons that we can really get right now. And I think that's basically all the weapons in the game, to be honest. Uh, I will... Do we have the sumo shirt for dogs? I can't remember. I know we've got the karate shirt. What else do we have? No, we don't have the sumo. We, we can get the sumo shirt for him. I don't know how many shirts there is. There's not many. Um, you know, I think there's three, maybe, possibly four. Four be a push. I don't think there's actually four. 
Now, if you're buying loads of ammo and using your gun as your main weapon, uh, you can see how expensive that gets with the enemies always regening. Oh, wow. He soft as shit, mate. He didn't take much, did he? Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, we're on 20 minutes. I'm going to go back and save the game. Uh, and I'm going to grind out money. I'm going to grind out a lot of money. And when we come back, we're going to go on a shopping spree. We're going to buy some cool weapons. Because why the devil not, man? We need to work out how much money we need. Get up. No sleeping whilst I'm around, mate. There we go. Although, I might come back and not have loads of weapons. I'm going to look up where the best place in the game is to grind. For cash. I'm pretty sure I know where it's going to say. I'm pretty sure it's going to say the best place to grind is here. Uh, but we will cover that bridge uh, when we get to it. So, I'll catch you guys back in a minute. Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. Now... Um, I did say we were going to go hopefully grind out a load of money and I've managed to grind to like just over 10 grand. Um, I don't know how, <laughs> how I did it before. This has literally taken me ages, like over an hour, to basically grind out this much money. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to save some of the higher tier weapons until uh, later on in the game where we should just naturally occur some more cash. I don't know how I originally did it. I mean, admittedly, I haven't actually ever watched my um, original playthrough. So uh, I'm guessing it just comes down to the fact that I used to have a lot more time. <laughs> a lot more time. <laughs> I've already burnt through an hour of my recording session, roughly, just grinding out this much. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second floor. And we are going to... Where's the second Oh, the second floor. Oh, I might as well kill this guy. Yeah, we're going to go buy as many steak plates as we can. Because if we can't get weapons, because they are ungodly amounts of coin, we are going to suffice and uh, just put up with having uh, steak plates and see if we can maximize our health. Because, yeah, I mean, it's not as much fun as having loads of ammo and awesome weapons but it's very important and I think there's only two places in the game where you can actually buy steak plates from as well so bear that in mind so let's get that done I can't remember how many steak plates it actually takes to fully max you out I don't think it's that many so we might be able to get that uh, mostly sorted on this run uh, we do come back here a little bit later anyway, so hopefully we're going to have a lot more money then. Um, right. Stay yeah. Wow. These things are expensive. Um, I guess we can buy three of them. I know we can buy four. Can we afford sushi plates? Sushi plates are significantly cheaper. But from what I can... Oh yeah, there's only like two of them. Yeah, from what I can remember, the sushi plates, they basically don't really heal anything. Uh, boost your health by anything, I should say. So, let's have a little squiz, shall we? Food. So, let's go for sushi. Info. Uh, this delightful meal will slightly boost your energy limit. It will. So, we're going to eat it. Now, how much does that go up by? Not much at all, to be honest. That's kind of pointless. Uh, now, we could just wait until we're actually injured to use these, which could maybe not be a bad idea, but fuck it. Yeah, sushi plates are not where it's at, are they? Damn. Um, I'm glad they're sold out, to be honest. What about ham? Nope, we know hamburger. What about steak? Info. This tasty feast will uh, greatly boost your energy limit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I would hope so. Because Elliot gets paid $2,000 uh, a month. So he's about to consume a meal that costs 
times his entire monthly salary. You better enjoy it, Elliot. Yeah, that's significantly better. That is significantly better. Um, let's have another one. Uh, let's go for another steak. And then we will give dogs two as well. Now, dogs has more health as standard anyway. Ooh. Might not be too far away from maxing his health out there, to be honest. Let's uh, change to dogs. And uh, feed him up. Right. Items. Food. Give you a steak, me lad. Now, yeah, dogs does have like a little bit more health. Um, and his bow gun's empty as well. There we go. But it's not, you know, it's not much difference, uh, really. Right, weapons. Why are we going into weapons? Uh, food, steak. Give the man a steak. Kind of pisses you off how expensive they are, and they just like throw most of it on the floor. So our health is now significantly better, and we have just blown through all of our money. Um, yeah, holy shit. Well, that's fine. That's what the money's there for, to be honest. It's there to be spent, me laddos. Let's get out of here, and before I get too annoyed, let's change back over to Elliot. My god, dogs is slow. Like, he's really slow. There's no need for him to be that slow. Ah, much better. Uh, might as well get duff this guy in as well, I suppose. Come here, you little turd. Boom! Yeah, so those big guys um, seem to give you like a hundred. About a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty coins. These give you fifty. Now... Maybe I'm just forgetting, but later on in the game, you just seem to get so much more money from the enemies, which makes sense. But I always thought these generic enemies all gave you the same amount of money, but they can't do. There's no way. Hmm. Well. Ah, really? Yeah, that happened a lot as well. The coins were disappearing. <laughs> and uh, getting stuck in the environments, which is fantastic. Oi, you. Come to Papa. Allow me to introduce you to my axe. My axe is my buddy. I bring him when I walk. Yes. Chop till you drop, son. Now, let's keep going. Yeah, cash is an interesting one in this game because, my God. God, you really need... Oh, nice. You really need a lot of it. Uh, if you want to get all the weapons, obviously. And uh, we do want to get all the weapons. Uh, as much as we humanly can, but... I just really did not realise... How much of a monumental task that would have been. I must have spent so long doing this. Back in the day, just grinding out cash. Like, seriously. It kind of blows my fragile little mind that I, <laughs> there was a time in my life that I had that sort of time. Damn, son. And I bet I wasted it as well. I bet I didn't enjoy it. Hey, there's, I'm sure there's a, there's a whole thing there about wasting time and time is precious. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Anyway. Right, let's use our key card to get into the freezer. The door is locked. Yes, we know the door is locked, Elliot. That's why we have a freezer key card. You fool! Okay, now the freezer sucks. Uh, we're freezing to death, as you can see. Uh, we have a new meter on screen. Um, oh god, hello. This is a big fella. Yeah, we really do uh, freeze to death pretty quickly, but there is an item somewhere around here that will help us significantly in that regard. My god, you know, these, these bits always freaked me the fuck out when I was a kid. Ah, that's frozen shut. Got ya. It's not locked, but the door is frozen shut. Yeah, fair dues, Elliot. Let's... Oh. Okay. This is unusual. Why is the door frozen? I've got to raise the temperature, or else we'll be frozen meat yes. before we reach Yes, 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 yes. Where are you, big guy? So, looks like we've got a room that we can go into here. The door is locked. That door is also locked. 
I missed that. Uh, oh, it's still cold in here as well. Okay, well, we don't really have time to fight these guys. Oh, bollocks. Well, we found the warm room key. I mean, that sounds like something we definitely want. We're going the wrong way, and we're now going to rapidly start losing health. Which, actually, we don't lose health for that quick. Which is quite nice. Right, is that the warm room? Thank you. So, I don't know. Use the damn key, Elliot, you fool. Right, well, at least we can warm up in here, and there should be... Oh, there's an operation room key, which ain't too bad. Uh, okay, that was cool. Uh, right, so we got the operation room keys. Freezer temperature control system. Clio pump rotation, 6,500 RPM. Freezer mode okay. has been engaged. Would you like to uh, that's a microwave heater. Probably don't want to stand too close to a microwave. If you would like to change the temperature in the freezer, adjust the Clio pump rotation rate okay. in the freezer control center. 0 to 4,999 RPM low rotation mode. This is defrosting mode. The temperature in the freezer will be increasing. 5,000 to 5,999 RPM freezing mode. This is the normal mode. 6,000 to 9,999 RPM freezing mode. This will bring the temperature to minus Oof. 100 centigrade. Avoid setting yeah. off as a default. No shit. Right, so we need to basically turn the fan system down. Okay, we can do that. Let's have... Some food though, what have we got here? We've got some large hassies, I suppose. We've got hamburger too. Let's go chow the hot dog down. Because why not? And anyway guys, with that I'm going to have to leave it here because we are out of time. So, when we come back we're going to keep hunting around the freezer. Um, I don't think this bit's too bad and we can get that little pocket heater somewhere. that I can't actually remember where it is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.